In this video, I'm going to be giving you an update on my life with things I've been doing. Let me know in the comments what you have been doing. If you are new to the channel, my name is Mason Ellis and I'm a C5 through C7 quadriplegic. I make videos to help you live life just like you would have able-bodied. If you enjoy this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. I've been having issues with some of my catheter bags having giant slits in them. So when I cath, it leaks out of the bag. The company has had great customer service and I love the catheters, but it's a mystery as to what is causing the slits. They're changing companies that make their bags so hopefully that fixes it. I went to a Cody Johnson concert that had Randall King and Randy Hauser as openers, and it was really good. If you have never been to a concert or other event, I recommend it because from my experience, handicap seating is the best. Yesterday was the first day of my spring 2023 semester, and I'm taking two classes online through Vincennes University. The two classes are Principles of Human Resource Management and Vulnerability Assessment. I finished my Fall 2022 semester classes, Operating Systems 1 with 99% and Cyber Incident Responder 1 with 99%. This is my last semester until I graduate with my bachelor's degree in information technology. I have some shirts that I got made a few years ago for my YouTube channel, as well as shirts, hats, and license plates with Country Boys Can Survive on it, uh, which is the motto my friends used to have shirts made to raise money after my wreck. So if you are interested in any of those, let me know. These boots are what I was wearing when I had my wreck. I was cleaning out my closet and getting rid of stuff. I found these and I can't wear them now, but they have a sentimental value. Do you have anything from when you got injured that you keep because it has sentimental value? I hope you had a good Christmas and got to spend time with people you value. My family got together for the first time in a couple of years, which was really nice. I bought a new computer for our living room because the old one was 10 years old and getting slow. It has a bunch of dust in it, so I'm going to clean it and might do something with it. The computer I bought is a Dell Inspire and desktop, and it has a solid state drive. Plus, I installed 8 more gigabytes of RAM in it, totaling 16 gigabytes. So it's a big upgrade to the last computer. I was going to build a custom computer for the living room, uh, but this computer was on sale uh, for the holidays and I couldn't beat the price building my own. I do still plan on making the video showing my computer and desk setup, uh, but I was making some changes and wanted to get those made before I made the video, so that's going to be my next video. I got this table vise to hold stuff and allow me to work on it because one of my problems is that I would be able to fix something but can't because I can't hold it still so this should fix that. I got a magnetic necklace clasp for my necklace so now I can undo it to take it off instead of having to slide the whole thing over my head uh, because it was a tight fit since I have a big head Plus, it will prevent someone from using it to choke me. I got this neck harness to start doing exercises to strengthen my neck. And I also got these cordless jump ropes uh, for different type of exercise. All of these products are on my list on Amazon for products that make living life with a spinal cord injury easier. And there is a link in the description of this video and in the pinned comment if you want to check it out. I got these new dumbbells that have a rubberized coating because the dumbbells I used for a while had a weird texture and that fell apart. So I'm hoping these hold up better. We installed a Google Nest thermostat in my house because we did some remodeling and I really like it 
because it's a smart thermostat and I can change the temperature with my phone from wherever with an internet connection and can change the temperature with my voice using uh, my Google Home smart speaker. The backrest on my commode slash shower wheelchair started coming undone where the stitching was so my dad did some hand stitching to make it more secure. I was going to order a new backrest but it was going to be like $80 with $20 shipping so I just ordered some material on Amazon for 12 bucks uh, for when I need it in the future. I got the ICS module on my wheelchair replaced to fix the issue of the lights by the switches staying on after turning off the wheelchair. It fixed the problem for a little bit, but it's happening again. The material on the armrests um, of my wheelchair are falling apart, so I wrapped them with Gorilla Tape, uh, but even the tape is worn through now. A tech is coming to my house tomorrow to replace some parts and fix issues while it's still under warranty. I had a good deer hunting season out of my hunting shack that my dad built. I was able to hunt from my wheelchair and we had a little buddy propane heater in there so I was a lot more comfortable than when hunting from our UTV. I was able to harvest a buck and a doe so the hunting shack is serving its purpose. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you would know how I got my buck home. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you've been doing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you watch another one of my videos.